Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent meditation. Greetings, Pine Richland. I'm Bailey. Today is December 13th, 2019, and it's an A-Day. And I'm Hunter. Now for today's announcements. Activity period. Today we'll be following an activity bell schedule during the activity period. Student government will be meeting in the auditorium. Lastly, after the morning announcements, stay tuned to PRTV to watch the next episode of the TV show, The Blend. Recycling. Paper recycling will take place this morning during the activity period. Teachers, please set your blue bins outside your door. Prom. Want to help plan prom 2020? The next prom committee meeting will be held on Tuesday, December 17th after school in room 416. If you cannot make this meeting but would like to be involved, please contact Ms. Holmgren. Now let's go to Tom for the fact of the day. I'm Tom, here for your fact today. Bees sting other bees. That's all for me. Back up to the front. That fact was uh, factual. Okay. Cap and gown. Seniors, if you have not ordered a cap and gown for graduation, please see Mrs. Morrow in the principal's office for an order form. Minithon. Just in time for the holidays, Minithon is hosting a holiday karaoke night Wednesday, December 18th from 6 to 8 p.m. with hot chocolate and pizza. It is $5 at the door and $1 slices of pizza. Bring a friend and get your holiday spirit going. Hack the Ram. Hack the Ram 2020 is a 24-hour invention marathon that will take place on Friday, January 31st from 4 to 8 p.m. and Saturday, February 1st from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Pine Richland High School. Participants with any level of programming or hardware experience are invited to collaborate to create a technology project from scratch. The event is open to all 7th through 12th graders in the Pittsburgh area. Hack the Ram is completely free for participants and will include dinner on Friday and lunch on Saturday, provided by their sponsors, as well as snacks and drinks. To learn more about the event or register as a participant, visit their web address at the bottom of your screen. Spain trip. There will be an informational meeting for all students and their parents interested in attending the Spain 2021 trip on January 23rd at 5.30 in Global Studies. Students must be enrolled in a Spanish class during 2021 school year and must be in their junior or senior year to participate. PRTV Club News. The next meeting for PRTV Club will take place on Thursday, December 19th after school in room 328. Linguistics Olympiad. Pine Richland will be hosting an informational workshop for the North American Computational Linguistics Olympiad on Monday, December 16th. This workshop is open to any student who is interested in high-level problem solving. NACLO provides students with samples of patterns and ancient languages along with clues. Students will be challenged with providing solutions and or translating the ancient languages. This is a workshop and a great way to see if you are a candidate to participate in the NACLO competition. Interested students need to sign up in room 103. Yearbook. Order your 2019-2020 yearbook by December 31st to take advantage of a lower price. Price increases on January 1st. Go to the web address at the bottom of your screen to place your order. Snack cart. Please be aware that the after-school snack cart will not be open on the following days, Thursday, December 19th and Friday, December 20th. Forensics. Anyone interested in competing in this weekend's forensic tournament at North Catholic High School should sign up in room 106 as soon as possible. The forensics team is also holding a forensic fun Friday today. 
anyone who wants to relax, have some fun, and maybe even learn more about the forensics team is invited to attend. The fun will begin after school in room 106. See any forensics team officer for more information. Student feature. Now let's go to Ian for the student feature. I'm Ian Winter here with your student feature. Here we got Tom Smansky. What grade are you in, Tom? Senior. And a fun fact from you. I drink air. Nice fact. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> School store. The Best Buddy School store is selling holiday ornaments through December 20th. They are handmade by the Life Skills and Autism Support Classes. Let's go to some of the Best Buddies who have some more information about the ornament sale. Hi, this is Best Bud Jackson from the Best Buddy School Store. This week will be our last week selling ornaments. This week we are having a sale where ornaments cost only $1 each. We have four different kinds of ornaments for sale. The school store is open Monday through Wednesday, um, homeroom and lunches only. On Thursday, though, it is only open on homeroom. Hope to see you there. It's a happy holidays. Holiday Fun Day. Pure TV Club presents their annual holiday fun day tonight in the PRHS Auditorium at 5 p.m. Charlie Brown Christmas and Home Alone will be shown. Let's go to a promo for the event. Stuffable! Last week, students from PRHS traveled to each building in PRSD to collect all the toys donated for the annual staff, annual Stuffable, uh, toy drive to benefit for Toys for Tots. PRTV students Sean Barr and Josh Palco have the story. Hey guys, Sean Barr here with Stuff a Bus today, and we're going to be going around to all the schools collecting all those toys. Let's get to it. I'm here with Adam Proctor. Are you enjoying Stuff a Bus so far? Yep, it's great. And uh, what, what do you got there for the kids? Uh, it's a book about Shrek and a few games. All right, that's fun. All right, I'm here with Jackson, Connor, and uh, what are you guys? Are you guys excited to help with stuff about today? Yeah, yeah. So, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, presents, family. All right, that's nice. Well, thank you. All right. All right, I'm here with Connor McKinnon and Owen Banjack. All right, what grade are you guys in? Second. Second. All right, what do you guys want for Christmas this year? A uh, camera drone. Um, my dad and my mom got me a bow and arrow.
All right, I'm here with Edgar. And uh, what grade are you in? Second. And are, do you have any plans for Christmas? Hmm. Yeah. What are you planning to do for Christmas this year? Uh, sled. All right, that's fun. Well, thank you. All right, I'm here with Julie Martin, Caitlin Newport, Ziad Ammer, Dan Krill. All right, so what do you guys do today for Stuff a Bus? Um, we went around to all the schools in the district and we were able to fill six buses with toys. And uh, what do you plan to do with all the toys? So tomorrow there's going to be a group going down to Robinson to meet with Mikey and Big Bob from 96.1 KISS and they're going to stuff the bus down there. All right, guys got anything to add? No, I just want to say thank you to everybody who donated. Uh, it was a great success this year. It's for a great cause, so thank you all for donating. All right, that's all from us. Thank you, and have a good day. Now let's go to Tom Frey and Brock Wolf for a recap of the delivery of the toys to Mikey and Big Bog from KISS 96-1. Hey PR, I'm here today at the Robinson Town Center with Mikey and Big Bob at Stuff a Bus. What's going on guys? We're hype. We're hype. We're stuffing buses. We're hype for Pine Ridge Land. Actually you guys stuff buses, we're just here and you yeah. brought all the toys to us, so good you job. You stuff a bus, we stuff a bus, and we're all friends here. And uh, how many buses are we at right now, guys? Uh, 68 or 68. 69, yeah. Do we I have 69? No, I think 68 is full. We might be at 69. I, see, when you guys bring toys out, I don't know. I mean, there's so many people in the parking lot right now. I think we're losing track, but we're probably going to hit like 70 buses easy this year. That's awesome. And uh, if I heard correctly, that's a new stuff bus record, right? Uh, yeah, last yep. year was 60, so uh, we hit 60 last night, so everything this morning on the final morning of Stuff a Bus has been a new record, so that's because of you, Pine Richland. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I feel like a WWE wrestler. <laughs> that's right, Pine Richland, you did this! <laughs> and uh, how many years ago did you start doing Stuff a Bus? Uh, this is year 16. This yeah, is year 16. Yeah, year 16. And Pine Richland uh, has been with us since pretty much the beginning. Yep. Like, every year, uh, a new... A new kid picks it up and uh, gets it all together and uh, yeah it's it's been awesome we always say that Pine Richland was the first school to really do a big school collection and now every other school we get so many schools now involved but it all started with Pine Richland like you guys set the bar and then you continue to set the bar so we can't say thank you enough yeah and that's all you guys everyone who donated everyone in student government that organized so I wanted to say thank you for that uh, say thank you too thank you <laughs> and a thank you. And thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, well, thank you for your time, guys. Thank you. Hey, that's what me and Bob run off of the whole time out here. So I saw you guys, you know, I've never seen, like, I know you guys sent us a video earlier, like, I think it was this week or last week when you guys were doing your collection. And just to see the school all decorated and stuff, it's like, Man, Pine Richland's just like us. Like, they can't just stay and do the same thing uh -huh. every year. Like, it keeps getting bigger and better and everything. So, you guys are awesome, man. Thank you for what you guys do. I'd just like to say thank you to all the uh, Pine Richland students staff. Uh, this is, by the way, this, this is, is where the, this is where the, the notes app <laughs> come in handy right here. <laughs> so, the uh, Pine Richland students staff and administrators, as well as all the schools in the district. We'd also like to thank the SDA bus company for serving their own donation collection. Um, and donating their time to be with us today, and also the two Pine Richland High School student government sponsors, Mrs. Rodriguez.
I'm confident, Bob, that if me and you get wiped off the face of the earth, Pine, Pine Ridgeland can just yeah, do stuff with us on their own at this point. <laughs> Pine Ridgeland, thank you all every year Another for coming out year. and helping us stuff with us. You guys are awesome. Every year they come out. We'll see you next year. Yep, next year. Next, <laughs> next year. Thank you, Pine Ridgeland, all of you so much for coming out and helping us stuff with us. Bus 68 right now, and I mean, are we gonna have like 70 buses this morning? What is happening? We're getting down, we're getting pretty close, right? We're getting pretty yeah, close to the close, end here. Close. All right, final push out here, it's Mikey and Bob. Pine Ridge and everybody say, stop a bus! Stop a bus! The future's good, Bob. It's good, it's good. It's good. It's 96 one kiss. Guidance news. The following scholarships, contests, and workshops are now available. Stop in the guidance office or check on Naviance under Colleges tab, scholarship list. Uh, now it's time to go to Nick Kush for our PRTV Sports Report. Ice Hockey. The varsity hockey team will be holding a winter apparel drive for the homeless and in need during their game on Monday, December 16th for Seneca at the Barrow Ice Complex. They'll be collecting new socks, hats, gloves, long underwear, and blankets. Please be generous. All donations will be delivered to the Light of Life Shelter in Pittsburgh. Wrestling. Nate Lucas earned his 100th victory this past Wednesday at Butler. His career record stands at 125. Congratulations, Nate, from the wrestling team and the coaches. In other wrestling news, tonight the varsity and JV teams will face Hickory at home. The match will start at 7 p.m. Tomorrow the varsity and JV teams will compete in the North Hills duels. They meet starts at 9 a.m. at North Hills High School Gymnastics. Tonight, the varsity and JV teams will meet at Moon Area. The meet starts at 7 p.m. at Moon Area Middle School. Boys basketball tonight, the varsity and JV teams will be at Mount Lebanon. JV plays at 6 p.m., followed by the varsity team at 7.30 p.m. Cheerleading on Sunday, the varsity competitive spirit team will compete in the Battle on the Berg National Championship. The co uh, com competition starts at 9.30 a.m. at the Peterson Event Center. Another great sports report by uh, Nick Kush. Now let's go to Ian for lunch. Morning PR, I'm here with your lunch. Today we got a spicy boneless buffalo wings, mini pierogies with or without onions, plainer spicy chicken filet, cheese pepperoni pizza, and a made to order sandwich. That's all for me, back to the studio. I love food. Now let's go back to Ian for weather. Morning PR, I'm here for your weather. Today we got a high 41, low 37, tomorrow low th high 39, low 30. Let's go to the five day forecast. Sunday we got a high 33, low 22, Monday high 34, low 31, and Tuesday high 35, low 20. That's all for me, back to the front. Definitely getting cold out. Yes. That's all for today. It's an A-Day, and I'm Hunter. And I'm Bailey. We'll see you Monday, Pine Richland.